This video demonstrates the virtual physical coupling of two lower limb exoskeletons. Here you can see two users freely moving without any interaction between their exoskeletons. The plots at the top left show their hip and knee angles, where blue is user A and orange is user B. For each user, the commanded interaction torques are zero at the hip and knee, as shown in the top right figure. In this case, there is no physical communication or synchronization between the users. The framework we've developed allows us to create virtual physical coupling between two exoskeletons. Here, we render weak spring and damper elements between the hip and knee joints of the users. Both users are still able to move independently, but can physically influence one another through the compliant virtual coupling. The interaction torque between the users changes depending on their states and the properties of the coupling. Our framework also allows us to modify properties of the virtual coupling, like the spring and damping constants. With higher stiffness and damping, the strong coupling results in synchronized motion between the users, as any deviation results in larger interaction torques. We can also adjust the neutral angle of the spring between the users. Here, the neutral angle for the hip is 30 degrees, meaning that the hip angle of user A must be 30 degrees greater than user B for zero virtual spring torque at the user's hips. This paradigm can be useful for challenge-based rehabilitation methods, such as haptic error augmentation. Similarly, this offset feature can be implemented on different joints or multiple joints at the same time. Overall, this framework could be useful for tele-rehabilitation, where the users are a therapist and a patient with motor impairments. In the future, we will use this platform to investigate the effects of haptic interaction on motor learning and task performance during walking, a complex and meaningful task for gait rehabilitation.